Well, I think there's two things to look at. Uh, first of all, it's my philosophy that we should use the easiest uh, therapies for the body to start with. And those are the most effective therapies with the least side effects. And I always suggest that my patients try the easy things first before they advance to more uh, aggressive therapy with potentially higher side effects. So before I did a splenectomy, I would try all the natural things possible to support my platelets. So the second consideration is how successful a splenectomy is for ITP patients. And unfortunately, uh, it's not 100% effective, and it sometimes leaves patients with the same ITP symptoms that they had before, minus a spleen. So in that case, I would be very cautious about advancing to the treatment of splenectomy.